So here are two ways to clone yourself in CapCut. The simple way or the advanced way. Yes. Get your camera on a tripod stand and record yourself doing different things. Make sure tripod stand is stationary. Your camera isn't moving. Your tripod stand isn't moving. Record yourself doing whatever you want to do. So after you've imported all your videos into CapCut, the easiest way to actually clone in CapCut is to use an effect. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about right now. So I'm just going to bring in one of these videos. So I'm currently showing us the easy way to bring videos or clone yourself in CapCut. This is the complex way which I've done for the intro of this video. But right now I'm trying to just show you the easy way. So what you just need to do is don't just cut the part of this video and you can see what I'm talking about. Let me be quick with this. So let me just make here a three second video. So the easiest way to clone yourself is to use an effect. And I'm going to show you the effect I'm talking about right now. You come to effects, not under video effects, but under body effects. In body effects, you come to clone. I have that, I have it saved as favorites already, and it's called what? Doppelgangers. So under the clone effects in CapCut's body effects, you have what's the doppelgangers. I want to just apply it in a timeline. You can see you currently have yourself cloned, as you can see. And you can just adjust it, the amount of people you want, the spacing between them. So this is the easiest way to clone yourself in CapCut. You see what I'm talking about. So this is the easy way. Then after this, I'm going to show you the advanced way of how to clone yourself in CapCut. Okay, so now it's time for the advanced option of cloning yourself in CapCut. So I have my videos here. I currently have four options. I don't have to use everything. I'll probably just use three of them. As you can see, I, I started that here already. So I started with that here already. So this is actually what I want to recreate for us. What we currently have here. The old pushing effect and everything. So let me show you guys how I got that done. So first things first. It's actually very easy, guys. This is the main clip. I'm just going to bring the main clip on. So let me just cut a bit of it. Let me just add it. I just want to use it. I'm just going to use this part. Oh no, I'm, I'm going to use the part where I pushed him off. The simple way or the advanced way. Okay, good. To clone yourself in CapCut. The simple way or the yeah. advanced way. Good. So this is this is a, this is a, this is a good part to use. Also, if you notice, like my background is different. So I need to do like remove BG and all the things. But I'll just start with this right now. So yeah, this is the other one here. Which is a clip of me just looking around, looking confused. And yeah. So we have that here also. Good. So I, I have to start to remove BG for everything that quickly. Auto removal done. Auto removal also remove BG. Auto removal. Good. So I need to get my background. Just take my, the background I have here and just copy that and bring it right here. Good. So that, that's my default background I use all my videos. Let me put some back up here and I bring my background. So, yeah, as you can see, we already have our clone. I just put the videos over each other or behind each other and everything starts to make sense. Also, I have a bit of acne on my face. I'm just gonna add like retouch preset I have to fix that and we're good. Okay, so we're almost getting there. Also, I'm gonna add my color correction option because I'm trying to recreate everything I had at the start. Also, if you have any questions in comments, do let me know so I can explain everything to you. So the option is just very simple. To so clone yourself in capital. This. Okay. I like to preview my video in low quality because I don't want it to start lagging or whatever. The simple way of okay good so now we have this if you notice in this part of the video here there was a push in this part of the video there was a push yeah so i'll show how, how, how to recreate this push this is like the interesting part of the video the push that was i chose that part of the video the simple way or the other way so i think it should be the video here the simple way okay now yeah, this is the video so it's just so this one also, that's also perfect. I'm just to the remote background again. Good. So I have the so simple way in cap. Oh, in cap. The simple. 
Let me see. The simple way. Okay, good. The, the simple, simple way. way. So I just need to make sure the audio matches. And we're good. The, the simple, simple way or the advanced. Oh. Okay, good. So the simple way. way. So once this guy comes into play, I'm just gonna cut whatever we have here and mute it. Because I don't want the audio affecting each other. The simple way or the advanced way. Also. So that's all we want. So now let me fix everything else. So now I'm gonna use keyframes. The simple way. So now I'm going to use keyframes and I'm going to follow his hand. So his hands are here. Also, the video needs to come behind him also. Yeah, I remember that. It needs to be behind him. So these videos need to go off. Wow, this one needs to come here. Good. So because I, I, I want this to be a push. Simple way. Good. So I'm gonna follow, I'm gonna use keyframes right now. So his hands were here. Good. Same way. Okay. The same way. So guys, I'm trying to get the perfect place to put the keyframes just to push, really push it. Okay. So keyframes here. So now let's play that. The same way or the advanced. Perfect. Perfect. So now I can just. Take out the rest, I don't want it. Then from the part where the audio started, the ceiling. I'm just gonna pause this and drop the audio to zero. So we have just one audio. The simple way or the advanced. So, guys, this way I just did there. So now I've just recreated the video guard at the beginning. Which so, clone yourself in capital. The simple way or the advanced. Or the advanced way, perfect. So this is what we want to do. Also, I can add something extra just to balance things out. Maybe at this side, we have space here. So let me just look for something else to add. Okay, I can just add this one. So guys, we are done here. So now we have this. I don't want it here. I want it here. I'm going to flip the video. Yeah, just to balance things out. Think away or the advanced. So, if you enjoy watching this video, kindly check out this video right here and have a good one.